in Python, a dictionary stores data as key value pairs. Like a real dictionary book, when you look up a word for the definition, the word is the key and the definition is the value. The object type for a dictionary is called a dict. Although it sounds like a funny word, you can easily create a dict object by using curly braces to surround the key value pairs in your dictionary with each key value separated by a comma. You would typically use a dictionary where key value pair relationships exist, and it might make more sense to store an associated relationship as a value to a key. For example, a person's phone number can be a key, and an associative relationship as the value can include the person's name, address, date of birth, and more. Dictionaries can be accessed by an index number like you can with a list, but instead you access each value in a dictionary by passing the key in the square brackets rather than an index like you did with a list. If no results are found, you get a key error runtime error while your program is running and it crashes your program. Dictionaries are mutable, so you can add new entries, or update existing ones, and you know, whatever you want to do to it. So let's create a dictionary in Python. I'm going to create a dictionary of basketball players. So my favorite team is the Pistons, and let's particularly the 8990 Pistons. So let's add some players in our dictionary. And their key is going to be their jersey number, and the value is going to be their name. So in the curly braces, let's do 11 is... Isaiah Thomas and four is Joe Dumars. All right, so there's our dictionary. Let's print out the dictionary. Print pistons. Here we go. Cool. Then to print out a specific pistons player, we don't access it by an index number. That's not going to work. We get a program is going to crash, get a key error, but we access it by the key value 11. That should print out Isaiah Thomas, and the four should give us Joe Dumars. And you can even create an empty dictionary if you wanted to. You could say little little dict is empty curly braces. There's your empty dictionary. Or big dict can be just you know a giant dictionary of stuff. A key one is A, key two is B, you know, and so on for the entire alphabet if you wanted. Let's try printing these out. Print the little dict. And we'll print the big dict. They are. You can even add new key value pairs to existing dictionaries by saying pistons. Okay, let's add at index 40, that is the Lambier. And let's print out all the pistons now. And you can see the dictionary of basketball players got updated, adding the Lambier to the dictionary. Let's add one more Detroit Piston to the team. Pistons at index 10 is Dennis Rodman. If we run the program now, you can see Dennis Rodman also got added. And let's say Dennis Rodman got traded, and we, you know, let's say he went from the Pistons to the Bulls, which he did. We can then delete him from the dictionary by saying Dell Pistons key 10, not index 10, but key 10. Then we print out pistons and Dennis Rodman should be gone from the list. And he's gone. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Dictionaries are pretty easy to use, pretty straightforward in my opinion. So thanks for watching the video.